Montreal, you know, screw job is probably one of those moments that everyone keeps asking you questions and every little details. And I've read Bret Hart's book, Shawn Michaels' book, Betsy Man doesn't have a book. So each person, even Bruce Pritchett, excuse me, I put out information about that. But now, coming from the person who was in the middle of all that muck heading into that weekend, now all the details are inside this book. Right. Oh my, oh my, oh my. This has got to be a, a purchase for any wrestling fan because as, seriously, even as a kid watching this event, you're seeing what's happening. And as years have gone on, people have the perspective of whose side they should be on. Yo, Brett, Sean, Earl, Vince. It, it turns into like, well, you're asked to do something from your boss and you do it. And now I don't want all the details because obviously we don't want to give the book away because that's what we're, you know, the book right. is where the details are. Why, why, why would we do that here? But in reality though, that weekend heading into that, what are you feeling? Are you feeling a sense of something is going to go wrong here? Like something is not going to end up the way you imagine it? Not really. I thought, I, uh, truthfully, uh, I thought it was just going to be, I thought everything had been worked out for settled and, and, and was okay till time to go to the ring. Right. So. Yeah. Because you've, I've heard stories of Jerry Briscoe telling, you know, with Shawn Michaels in a hotel, like teaching him how to really, you know, grapple someone in case shit goes down sideways. And yet you're in the middle of it all. And have you? I think I've I've read this before, but have you spoken to Bret Hart since then? Since 1997? Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay. Oh yeah. Well, uh, back, uh, 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 you know, I had a, I have another shirt, ref, uh. Uh, merch shirt says, "Damn right I did." And a, lot of, and a lot of people want me to say, it. Uh, "Can you write on it?" I screwed Brett. I go, "No, I can't do that." A while back, maybe three or four years ago, I would do it. But Brett and I made up, and uh, before my brother passed, we were at a house show or any any show, and uh, he was there, and he called us to the ring, and he put us over like big time, and. So now Brett calls me, Nan, then and I'll call him, and, and we got a good relationship back, and I'm not going to screw it up by writing something on a dumbass shirt that's going to destroy uh, our friendship. Of course. Of course. Because, so your entire life, have you been worried, though, about bumping into Brett Hart over the years of, we're like, man, because I imagine... This had to have been weighing on you for a long time. And, you know, you asked to do something, your boss asked you to do something, so you did it. But at the same time, like, you did something to someone and then that person probably is barely angry at you. Are you worried about bumping into him in the airport or indie shows? that Things could go wrong really quickly. Well, for for a long time, it, it, it honestly, it bothered me. And uh, it was uh, it was bad for me, you know, because I carried it with me. Uh, for a lot of years, and uh, once, once we we met one time in the airport, and I wanted to talk to him, and he said, "I don't want to talk to you." I go, "Okay." He was talking to my brother, and I said, "Can I talk to you for a minute?" He goes, "I don't want to talk." I said, "Okay." So I let it go, and that was it. And the time went on, and uh, you know, it finally worked out where we got to see each other, communicate, and and uh, push war over the dam. Good to hear. Good to hear because, again, is, is is that's, again, you know, you're attached to two huge moments of wrestling, double referees, Montreal. Like, these are the two top ten biggest moments in professional wrestling, and you're attached to both of them. And one, obviously, is glory, and one obviously brought a lot of pain and suffering over the years. So does that give you a sense of comfort of knowing that you put so many years into the wrestling business that you're forever attached to two amazing huge moments in wrestling that either you love or hate but you're always going to be remembered that's got to feel good yeah it's, it's good it's good i mean uh you know i don't think uh i don't think any referee will get the opportunity to do what i've done 